What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're easing back into it with another easy one today. Spent the last week hanging out with family, but I have a bunch of awesome tutorial ideas lined up for the summer. Keep commenting down below anything that you guys see that you want a video on. Slap a like on this video if you guys do enjoy. It helps a huge amount with the YouTube algorithm. Today we're going to be building on our last video and talking about how to recreate these crazy circuit bent glitches within Adobe Premiere. You'll see on the left here I've been building some preset looks for this, experimenting with this. I'm going to show you how to create something like this from scratch where you get that crazy colorful grain only applied to certain parts of the video. So recently a big trend in a lot of music videos is using these circuit bending tools. These are really awesome although they are pretty expensive depending on which one you pick up. I've had a lot of fun with these in the past. I own my own as well as I've built my own from scratch by soldering together some wires. It's a pretty fun experience but there is a lot of hard work. You got to record the screen. You got to make your glitches, put the footage back in. So let's try and find an easier route to create some unique look circuit bent glitches just using Adobe Premiere. So let's go and get into it. I'm going to grab this footage and we're going to start from scratch. If you guys want to follow along with the exact same footage, it's free from pexels.com. I'll leave a link below. All we need to do to get started here is just like in my last video where we talked about film glows, click, hold down alt, click and drag up to create a duplicate in a layer above. So easy as that. Now we can start applying our effects on this top layer and changing around the blending modes to get a bunch of different looks for our glitches here. So what we're gonna do to start off, again, similar to our last video, is add the fine edges. And this is actually an optional step. I'm gonna show you some alterations of this with the find edges turned off. So go ahead and search for that, plop that down on the top clip, and then in your effect controls on the left here, you wanna go ahead and just click this invert button. Now what I like to do is change the opacity. So we go over here in our effect controls once more, in this little blending mode drop down, change that to something like screen. And as we go through, we're gonna mess with this just to show you some different versions. All right, so at this point, we're going to alter from our last video. We're gonna go ahead and try some different things to try and get that circuit bent look. So let's go and search for the noise effect. This is going to add grain to our video. And also keep in mind, I mentioned it at the end of my last video, whenever you're exporting anything with the noise effect from Adobe Premiere, make sure that you export at a high bit rate so that the compression doesn't kill your noise. What I recommend is you guys just do some test export with different settings so that you know the final output is going to look the way you want. So now that you guys know that, let's get into the settings. So the key trick here for creating this crazy colorful grain like you get in those circuit bending glitches is by going into your effect controls. Let's go ahead and bump up the amount of noise so we have some to work with. I'll put it maybe around like 20%. See, it's pretty normal here. What you want to do is turn off clip result values. So uncheck that and now you're going to see how we have this crazy grain already from the start. And right off the bat, you're already starting to get that sort of washed out glitchy grain. Now let's change around some settings because this is way too washed out. So just like in my past upload, you want to be utilizing your Lumetri color panel here. So make sure that we go to workspaces and we have the color workspace open. And you guys want to change around your exposure, your contrast, anything that can get different parts of this to pop in different ways. You also want to go back to your blending mode here and keep messing around with this. It's going to be very different depending on the footage that you use. So always keep that in mind. Everything's always going to look different. You're starting to get some interesting looking stuff here just by changing your blending mode and experimenting. The grain is only affecting certain parts of the video because we have that in its own isolated layer above our original. And so if I click and just play through here, this is a clip that has a bunch of different lighting setups so you can see a bunch of different ways where this is reacting to our footage. So this is on overlay right now for this example. Again, play around with it. Find something that you like. Let's keep going down the rabbit hole here, adding a few things so that we can change the look. So another thing that I like to add is this convolution kernel effect. If you just search for the word kernel and under adjust here, you can place that there. If we go through our effect controls, you have all these different controls, which you can change around to alter different aspects of your video. So I think this is a very useful tool for customizing specific things. You can change the offset here, which makes that grain a lot more fine. If you lower the offset, you can see how it's even slight grain. So make sure you're utilizing this because again, it gives you further control. There isn't really set values that I can tell you to use because again, every footage is different. So just play around with this and find something that you'd like. All right, so let's go and add in some glow, just like in our glowing film effect. You can use the VR glow for free or you can use any preset or plugin that you like. So let's place VR glow on our top clip. 
and in our effect controls we're going to turn off auto vr properties we're going to enable use tint color so enable that there and then if we start playing around with our luma threshold and our glow radius you're going to see our glow start to come to life there so we can bump that up and you see how it's starting to react the way we want if we make that glow radius smaller it's going to only affect certain parts and if you raise the glow radius it's going to be more of this dreamy like glow if you go back now that you have the glow now that you have all those things changed around again always be messing with your blending mode because as we layer and add different things you're going to get different results through different blending modes so you can stumble across something you really like i'm going to go and show you some pro tips here for ways you can customize this further now that you've messed around with this by adding in different things experiment by turning off the find edges effect so if we uncheck that you're now going to see how you have something completely different if we put this back on screen or lighten you can see how this is only affecting certain areas and again if you want turn back find edges that's more of an all over if you turn that off again that gives you some of the isolation and that real circuit bent glitch sort of feel where it's not glitching everything in the scene but it's giving you that cool unique craziness in certain parts and leaving other parts normal so that's really all of the main steps in terms of building this from scratch at this point you guys can add in anything you'd like if you want that more kind of tv circuit bent glitch look i recommend you add something like some film scan lines so if you guys have the sapphire preset pack there is a sapphire scan lines effect you can just drop that on there and if we go down and change some of the line frequency also place these scan lines above some of these other effects here maybe below the noise but above the color you guys can see how you can get some different results just by messing around with that. If you guys don't have the Sapphire plugin pack, what you could do is if you have Adobe After Effects, all you need to do is right click on your footage, click replace with After Effects composition, and you can create some of these scan lines from scratch just by using a normal built-in grid effect. So I'm gonna leave a tutorial down below if you'd like to follow that. It's a nice little free workaround for those of you who don't have these. So have fun with this, guys. There's really so many different examples that I was able to put together just by messing with this. I'll just show you some of these structures of my effect controls here for those of you who want to be inspired by some of the looks that I stumbled across. So this is screen, fine edges on. Here's what it looks like off. You got your Lumetri color, just changing things around. The noise, how we set up at the beginning. Here's the setting for my convolution kernel. And then VR glow is off. You can enable that if you'd like. And then we have these scan lines. So infinite different looks, cool glitching stuff without having to go out and buy expensive equipment. Like I said at the beginning, a bunch of fun things lined up for this summer. We got a few After Effects things as well as 3D tutorials that I've been promising you guys. So if you guys are into 3D, I'm excited to share some hopefully new things with you. Or if you're new to 3D or thinking about learning 3D, I think it's a great time to learn something new, pick up some new skills because editing and 3D can really go hand in hand and help each other. And it can help you create some really cool looking new things. As always, if you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys have a nice week. Enjoy the warm weather. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting, and I'll see you guys in the next one.